Now let's assign users to project roles, starting with the project administrator role. It's one of the Teams in Space business requirements that the Scrum Master plus one other backup user should be able to do all the project-related administrative tasks. So both these users need to be added to the project administrator's role. We'll navigate to the People page. We don't see anyone on this page yet, but by default, members of the JIRA Administrators group can administer projects. Let's click Add People. And we'll add Sophie. and Lewis. We'll choose the administrator's role and click Add. Now let's go back to the project and we'll assign the Scrum Master and the backup user to the board administrator role for the default board. Here we can see that the name of this board is Dev Board. The default board for the project has the project's key as its name. Let's click these three dots and we'll select Board Settings. On the General page, we can see that Dakota Jones is the Board Administrator because she created the board. It was automatically created as part of creating a software Scrum project. Let's click here and we'll add Sophie and Lewis. Now Sophie and Lewis are board administrators. If one of the other team members created a board in this project, by default only the person who created the board and JIRA administrators would be able to configure that board. But other users can view and add issues to the board. If the board administrator wanted others to configure the board, they'd need to add them to the board administrators. Now let's remove full JIRA administration privileges from developers. When the JIRA instance was originally set up at Teams in Space, all developers were given the Administer JIRA global permission. But now that Teams in Space has grown, one of the business requirements is that only a few designated JIRA administrators should have JIRA administration rights. We'll perform this task as the site administrator as they can update users and groups. Now you can't just open a new tab and log in as another user, as your original tab will be logged in as that user too. You have a number of options. 1. You can open an incognito or private window in your current browser. 2. You can open a separate browser if you have another one installed. 3. You can log out as the current user and log back in. I'm going to use a new private window in Firefox. And I'll log into my site as the site administrator. We'll go to user management and go to groups and we'll open the JIRA administrators group. We're going to remove everyone except Dakota Jones. So for Lewis, we'll click remove and remove again. And same for Sophie, we'll remove her as well. So now there's only one JIRA administrator. And we'll log out as the site administrator. 